Do you ever just feel like you've reached a plateau? As in, years go by and you're still stuck in the exact same place? See, that's how I felt a few months ago, so I decided to make a change. I felt like I was too comfortable where I am right now, and what was the change that I decided to do? I decided to intern abroad at a completely new country that I am unfamiliar with. I applied to internships all over the US, Europe, and across Asia. I had gotten a few interviews and a couple of job offers, but ultimately decided to work at a startup in Sunnyvale, California. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and after I finished my third year engineering exams, I took a six hour flight to sunny California. Why did I decide to go to California? Well, first of all, weather here is pretty great, so I get the opportunity to skip Canada's harsh winters. How's the driving this morning? A horrible, horrible. I should have called it sick. Bay Area is arguably the number one tech hub in the world with companies like Apple, Google, Tesla headquartered here. And as a big fan of tech myself, I decided this would be a good place to work. And finally, it's also a lot different than Canada, so it might have just been the change that I was seeking. So I packed my bags and I was on my way to the Golden State. I really wish I had filmed this part during my flight from Toronto to San Francisco, uh, but nevertheless, the experience I had with the security officer that takes your passport was so interesting. This guy did not even smile or show any normal human reactions as he was stamping my passport. This is how our conversation went. Hello? Hey, how are you today? Passport and work visa? Here you go, sir. What brings you to the US? Oh, uh, I'm doing an engineering internship in California. Here you go. Next! I'm not sure if all the security officers are like this, but I just found it odd how he didn't show any human emotion whatsoever. I'm guessing it might be because he's stamping passports all day that he just loses the will to talk, or maybe the government is telling him that he's not allowed to talk to any passengers. I don't know. Anyways, back to my flight. a lot of YouTube videos of other students documenting their internship experience abroad. Most of which were in California. So I decided I would share my experience in this area as well. So first impressions after being here for a week is that there are literally companies everywhere. I've seen Apple's headquarters, Google's, Lyft's, Adobe, Zoom, YouTube's, and so many more. The next thing I noticed is that there are also a lot of bike lanes. And in those bike lanes, you usually see a lot of electric skateboards, electric scooters, which brings me to my third point, which is that there's so much tech in this area. And so these were like three of benefits or good things that are in the area. There's one thing that caught me by surprise though, which is that as I biked around the city or as I've taken Ubers around the city, I've seen a lot of homeless people. Like, they have communities of homeless people that live under bridges. And so I found it insane how there's like two ends of the spectrum. You have one end that are like full-time employees working at these big tech companies making six figures. And on the other end, you have homeless people that live 
you know, in poverty. Now, I did some research of my own and found that as of 2014, there were over 120,000 homeless people in the state of California. Now, this number caught me by surprise because it's only 2014, so this number continues to grow and it accounted for about 20% of the U.S. homeless population. So, as a state filled with extremely valuable companies, I was surprised to see the homeless situation be this bad here. Seeing this made me grateful for what I have, but I feel inclined to help in some way. Not sure how yet, but I'll figure it out. Anyways, I've been here for about a week now, and just as expected, there's literally tech everywhere. That's about it for episode 1 of interning in the Bay Area. Next up, I plan doing a day in the life, visiting the Golden Gate Bridge, visiting LA, and just exploring more of the state. So make sure to like and subscribe to learn more about what it's like living and working in the biggest tech hub of the world. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.